Hey everybody, it's Jeff with Eternity Shore. This last Sunday into Monday, we went up to the Sassafras River and spent the night there. And actually one of our main purposes in going up there was to meet two of our YouTube subscribers, Mark and Martha. So shout out to you guys. I'll show you a picture of them here in a second. We grabbed some appetizers and uh, grilled out together and had, had a great conversation at Turner Creek Park where Mary and I ended up um, anchoring out for the night. On the way back, it was the the sassafras into the Chesapeake was absolutely glass, and I'll show you some of the the shots of that right now. had about a 20% chance of afternoon thunderstorms and as we got down to Pools Island we saw lightning all of a sudden in the distance and then this big you know alert came up gale force winds etc uh, it was kicking up quite a bit of wake so what we ended up doing was just we floated for a little bit just to wait it out because we didn't want to anchor anywhere and we we're kind of in the middle of nowhere uh, and then as we were just kind of floating, uh, the, the wave started, you know, the wake started picking up and it was across our beam, which was uncomfortable. So we're doing that for a while. So I flipped the engines back on and we actually headed south into uh, the wake, which I'm, I'm showing you right now. And it was, you know, it was fine, but it was just a bit choppy and took us a lot longer to get back to the marina at the end of the day. However, on the way back, one of the things that was completely annoying to me is our soundproofing for the engine room, which is actually one of my most popular videos, which we did two years ago. The soundproofing started sagging and started coming off. I did a little, just MacGyver, actually tried to tape it up to keep it from, from flopping. I tried to use some of these guys to, you know, I went across and then underneath wrapped it around, but it wasn't holding up. It actually was sagging even more and trying to slip. And the whole thing eventually started coming off. But what we had to do right in the middle of all this is to get the rest of it off. So you can see here how we ended up having to hack off. Some of the, the foam was, was coming undone. I was actually chatting with the people from Sound Cow. Uh, about what to do, how to reapply it, and they suggested this stuff right here. So I'll film that when I get to it. So just a short video to explain uh, kind of what happened to us on the way back. I hope you're still enjoying the boating season, and we'll see you next time. Do me a favor and like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Ciao.